One time in the night, I cried out to God. The pain was real. I asked God to make me live longer as to why I had to go through such pain. But this is what happened when I woke up. Indeed, the comforter came and comforted me. I woke up with unspeakable joy. And this is a scripture I got, Isaiah 44, verse 1 to verse 2. But now listen, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus says the Lord, who made you and formed you from the womb, who will help you? Do not fear, O Jacob, my servant. I have chosen you. I really felt the comfort of the Lord. And Isaiah 51 verse 3 says, The Lord will surely comfort Zion and will look with compassion on all her rings. He will make her deserts like Aden, her wastelands like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in her. Thanksgiving and the sound of singing. Today I'm talking about a comforter who comforts all that mourn in Zion. That is what the Lord Almighty God will do. He will see you through. He will give you beauty for ashes, oil of gladness, and a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. No matter what is happening, it is my prayer that the Lord sees you through. And he will. That he will give you joy. That he will give you gladness. That he will see you through out of any challenge. He saw me through. He came and comforted me. It's my prayer that in every storm that you go through in life, the comforter will be so available and he is there when jesus went back he left us with a comforter to comfort us he says in the book of uh, john chapter 14 verse 16 and 18 he says and i will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever this comforter is with you forever even when everyone forsakes you the comforter will always be there to put your shattered heart together to comfort you even while you don't have that job to comfort you even while you're going through that challenge he is the holy spirit to see you through verse 18 says i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you he will not leave you comfortless so when you call on jesus he answers he left you with the holy spirit to comfort you first Thessalonians 14 18 says therefore encourage one another with these words he has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of the Lord's favor has come hallelujah Jesus and with it the day of God's anger against their enemies when the favor of the Lord comes upon you the anger of the Lord rises against whatever is disturbing you some of you are so disturbed by small issues to God they are small. To you it could be so big that you're still single up to this time. It could be so big before you that you have no job, that the business deal has not gone through, or you've not yet completed your house. You are so stressed. There is a comforter to comfort you. To all who mourn in Israel, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning. That is what God is doing for you. Joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. It's my prayer this day that you receive the comfort of the Lord, that you receive the love of the Lord, that he will see you through any situation that you're going through. Some of you are still mourning previous challenges that happened very many years ago. It's because you've never embraced the comforter. Allow him to comfort you. Allow him to see you through out of any challenge that you are going through. And he is faithful. And let me tell you one thing, that storm will not kill you, just welcome the comforter. Beauty for Ashes, rescuing an endangered generation.